Hey guys, I'm here with Bo today. Um, we're going to talk about a sweep that I generally use against a big guy who's really stacking me and kind of beating on my head. Now, this is a move that we see that a lot of big guys do, and it's a lot of newer big guys. So white belts, blue belts, things like that. You'll, when we get into the position, it'll probably be familiar to all of you, but a lot of times when a big guy, big guys like to stack their weight on us when they're in our guard. They like to get heavy on our head. They do a lot of things, and again, this is newer, newer uh, big guys. They, uh, they do a lot of things that we know is a big no-no in jiu-jitsu, but they can get away with it sometimes if they're big and strong and the guy is not um, a higher belt. So um, for me, I'm gonna use one of my big guys' bow, but I want, what I wanna do is show you how I deal with big guys um, that are hanging on my head, um, making things uncomfortable, because it's a frustrating position for those of you who are new. A white belt that's small and a white belt that's big, that big white belt's probably gonna smash the smaller white belt. So I'm gonna show you just a couple um, a trick that I like to use um, to escape a big guy crush on my face. So here's the position. Um, like I said, it's going to look very familiar. So Bo's hanging on my head. He's got one arm behind my neck. He's got his hands clasped together. Not a fun position to be in. So a lot of us, especially if I'm not very experienced, what we know is, okay, this guy's big and heavy in guard. I certainly don't want to let him pass because he'll be even heavier. So what tends to happen is we're trying to fight this big strong guy with our arms and we keep our guard closed so that we don't get passed. But I need my legs to help me get this guy off of me. So what they'll do is a lot of times they'll butt up and they'll stack you. And it feels very difficult, like I can't do anything. One thing I'll do usually right away is pull that shoulder off my throat. From here I'm going to open my legs, keeping my knees pinched together and I'm going to extend my hips. So he's still on me, but I'm keeping him very far away. From here, I like to control the armpit, swim in a uh, butterfly hook. This leg is still straight and rigid to keep him on this side. From here, I'm gonna kick the butterfly hook away. Now he's still got my head, he's got a good base on this side. I can either swim my arm out or push the elbow very hard and pull my head out. From here, I have one hook in, I can step up, take his back, or at the very least, have one hook in, controlling his waist. So here's a look at it from the other side. Again, he's grabbing my head. Notice he's palm to palm. He's head to head, it's uncomfortable. So he stacks, okay? I'm gonna open my legs, keeping them pinched together, but extend my hips. So he's gonna be anchored on me really tight here. Now, I'm gonna keep them tight, my quads are engaged, and I'm gonna just egg beater this guy in. Now it's a butterfly hook. Again, this one's straight. I can use it to pressure this way. I'm gonna kick him away. He's gonna base out wide. From here, I can go right to half guard, and I can swim my arm out, or I can touch his elbow and come out. So, Bo, what are you, what are you kind of feeling in that position? Like, from you probably feel pretty secure at the beginning. What, what does it feel like as the move is progressing? Well, the minute you lock out your hips, um, you take away my support base, mm. and so I start to feel light in the lower half, and I'm actually having to hold on to you tighter up uh, top. Okay in order to basically like keep my keep my base. Okay. And when what happens when that butterfly hook swims in there? Uh, I mean it's 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 at that point I'm I need I'm trying to move I, I'm gonna try to get out of it as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it was uh, you had a pretty good grip on my head but it's hard to, it's not that easy to keep that grip once I pop that elbow probably right? No it's not. Weak. Yeah. I mean I think the biggest the biggest problem is is by grabbing onto you I'm committing. Mm -hmm. So creating that space and allowing you to move around me. I'm still committed. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good point. Thank you, Bo. Yeah, so um, he's he's trying to suffocate the space and close the space. I need to create the space. So by locking up the hips, again, if you look at that video, I should be in a pretty straight line. From there, I have space to put in my hooks. Um, from there, I can kind of um, make him light and start working out. So again, with these big guys, it's really uncomfortable as you have to stay calm and you have to be willing to open your guard and use your legs to create those opportunities. So. The next time a, guy, a big guy hangs on your head, uh, just stay calm, use your hips and legs to create that space, and uh, see what happens. Hey guys. hey guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Also look for me on social media at Ben underscore Egley.